क्वेश्चंस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ चैप्टर 7 स्टैंडर्ड 7 एसएस स्टैंडर्ड 7 चैप्टर 7 एसएस एंड टुडे इट इज द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर क्वेश्चन द प्लेन्स ऑफ नॉर्थ आर the plains of north are north means north india the plains of north are densely populated give reason why the plains of north are densely populated my dear student when i explained the chapter when i was explaining this point i said that most of the rivers in north they start from himalayas around the year they have water they are called perennial river and because of that okay they have good alluvium means of fertility and because of the good fertility crop can be grown abundantly and because of that agriculture okay so many industries are established at that time at there and that is why they are densely populated and prosperous also got it it was the just i am giving a short uh, answer okay so why it is po uh, densely populated because most of the rivers they start from himalayas when they start in himalayas throughout the year around the year they have water they are called perennial river and when they have good water means uh, the, uh, the land around it they become fertile good alluvium and when good uh, fertile land is there good for agriculture and when agriculture sector is developing automatically we will have a good population and when we have a good population that is called populated okay got it so here the plains of north are densely populated give reason here i have written answer see them the plains of north india are the plains of north india are very densely populated Population means vasti, okay? Many people they are staying are very densely populated and prosperous. Prosperous means samrud, okay? Populated and prosperous due to the following reasons, okay? The plains of North India are very densely populated and prosperous because of the some reasons. I have written here some reasons. Number one. The plains of North India have been formed. The plains of North India have been formed by the rivers flowing from Himalayas. Okay. So the river which starts from Himalayas flowing from Himalayas. Okay. They form. They form the plains of North India. What it? The plains of North India have been formed by the rivers flowing from himalayas that is the first point second point hence these plains have kjt these plains have rich alluvium and deposit which makes them fertile okay in gujarati we say kaap in gujarati we use the word kaap in english we say alluvium okay in english we say alluvium in Gujarati, we use the word kaap. Okay. Hence, these plains have rich alluvium deposits which makes them fertile. And because of that, the lands become fertile. Okay. Third point. Thus, Kjeti, agriculture has developed. Kjeti, agriculture has developed on a large scale. Agriculture has developed on a large scale in north india got it why because rivers start from himalayas okay and because of the alluvium okay the land becomes fertile and when land is fertile automatically agriculture is developing okay thus the agriculture has developed on a large scale in north india next point moreover these rivers are perennial perennial means they never they never dry okay some rivers they 
become dry in a hot season but here it is not like that in a hot season also they are flooded why because himalaya is made of ice okay so due to the melting of ice due to the heat ice melts okay that is why in a summer also they have plenty of water in a rainy season they have water but in hot season also they have good water okay so moreover these rivers are perennial perennial means the rivers which have throughout the year water okay that is called perennial so moreover these rivers are perennial they flow down the year throughout the year bare mas pani voyage okay so they flow round the year next point so there is no scarcity of water bilkul tangi nahi there is no scarcity of water in this river you na take pani na chila diwa khali theke no okay so there is no scarcity of water in this rivers my dear student when they have throughout the year when they have water so <coughs> irrigation can be done <coughs> irrigation can be done from this rivers na next point irrigation facility has helped in yielding good crops okay because throughout the year they have water so irrigation can irrigation means canal sinchai in gujarati is okay irrigation facility sinchai irrigation facility has helped in yielding good crop yielding is growing yielding means growing irrigation facility has helped in yielding good crops next point due to the development in agriculture sector due to the development in which sector agriculture due to the development in agriculture sector there are many agro based industries there are many agro based industries and other agriculture related industries in north india due to the development of agriculture the industries which are based on agriculture okay they are developed in north india due to the development of agriculture sector there are many agro based industries and other agriculture related industries in north india and therefore because of this reason north india is prosperous and densely populated because of this re these reasons because of these reason north india is prosperous and densely populated my next question is dear student my next question is what if what if there would be no variation what if there would be no variation in the physiography of india okay i suppose we know there are uh, six uh, physiographic divisions are there okay suppose there is no physiographic divisions okay what will happen okay what will happen if there is no physiographic division what if there would be no variation in a physiography of india what will happen if suppose there is no variation in physiography what will happen so number see the answer answer if there were if there were no variation if there were no variation in the physiography of india in the physiography of india there would be no there would be no so nahi hoy sake there would be no but what no these are the points okay these four points would not be there okay if there were no variation in the in the physiography of india there would be no what no this four point five points are there na there these five points these five points would not be there number 1 there would be 
no himalayas there would be no himalayas to block the cold wind blowing from north my dear student the cold wind always blows from if it comes from north side only okay the cold wind blows from north side and if there is no variation so there would be no blocking of cold winds comes from north okay so there would be no himalayas to block the cold winds blowing from north first point second point there would be no plains of north india there would be no plains of north india to yield rich agricultural product rich agricultural production for us okay we know the plains of north india are very prosperous because of the alluvium okay good fertile land so what happen if there is a no variation in physiography what will happen no plains of north india to yield rich agricultural production for us third point there would be no coastal plains to develop ports fisheries and transportation industries okay because we know okay we have coastal line na coastal plain that is also a part of physiography coastal plain okay so what will happen there would be no coastal plains to develop ports fisheries and transportation industries got it next one there would be no hill stations there would be no hill stations seashores beaches rivers falls lakes etc for the recreation of tourist okay so what happen if there is no variation no tourism okay because these are the uh, things which which recreates recreation means manoranjan okay so there would be no recreation which kind of here we are getting we are getting recreation from hill station seashores beaches rivers falls lakes etc okay so there would be no hill station seashores beaches rivers falls lakes etc for recreation of tourist got it next point there would be no sorry india there would be no we have already read about hill station so what happened thus physiographic variation are important for overall overall development of the nation got it why it is necessary got it first we first thing blocking of cold winds from north second wind north india are uh, not plain good for agriculture will not have good growth for to eat next one the, no coastal is areas so development of the ports okay then transportation fishery and last one is recreation so if there is a no variation in physiography these things would not be there got it next question is why do cities near sea shore develop my dear student previous question we said na last time that the deserts are deserts are very few people they stay in deserts but here it is totally different question why do cities near the sea shore develop daria kinare ke bada shehro vikse che okay why why do the cities near the sea coast develop i can ask as a given reason cities near sea shore okay we can say many cities develop at the sea coast sea shore okay give reason we can ask like that also many cities develop near sea shore give reason same answer okay why do cities near the sea shore develop here i have written certain points okay because of this points okay the cities are developed on the sea shore okay answer cities near sea shore develop due to the following reasons cities near sea shores develop due to the following reason number 
development of fishing industry development of fishing industry my dear student from india we are we are exporting of seafood we are exporting seafood and the people who are staying near the sea coast their main food is rice rice and fish rice and fish my dear student they are exporting the sea creatures seafood to other countries also so what why the means uh, many cities develop near the sea coast first one is development of fishing industry development of fishing industry second thing internal and external waterways okay when ports are there so we can send goods in other parts okay from mumbai we can send to kanla from kanla we can send to tiruvannapuram okay like that we can send from kanla to other countries also okay other countries also so internal and international waterways okay internal and international waterways third one is rich alluvium deposits in the soil because of the fertility calm okay rich alluvium deposits in the soil soil means zameen zameen ma kaap aave good for agriculture next black fertile soil because of the black fertile soil next one is import and export facilities okay because of the import and export okay we are sending goods out of the country and there are other countries they are sending goods to us also so because of import and export facilities okay and for the last one is development of the ports and other trading activities for the development of ports and other trading activities cities near the sea shore developed okay why the cities near the sea shore developed because of this reasons got it next time we will learn more question answer thank you